welcome to your monthly general love tarot reading for August 2017. Cards are shuffled and cut, and here we go. We've got the dreamer. This is a sudden leap of faith, okay? It's a, it's, um, I don't know if I want to call it a deja vu or just a feeling of inspiration that, um, you know, you're doing something right, that this is your niche. This is where you need to go. This is what's going to happen for you. And it's about following your dreams, what, what really clicks with you. What crosses you is the nine of water, okay? And by clicking, or I should say getting with your niche, getting with your, um, your dreams, uh, really nailing it like, okay, I've got it. This is what I'm going to do, and this is where I'm going to put all my energy. I really feel like you get a lot of support from the angels, a lot of support from the universe. This card that crosses you, which is also invisible, is an energy that's letting you know that your worries, your concerns, they're going to fade away in August, okay? Your love life is going to get stronger in August. Uh, just, you know, opportunities are coming your way that are not expected, Okay, below, he, below you here, we've got the sun. Great card. Happy outcomes. Okay, ideas. Being your own leader on your path. You know, um, being creative. Being confident in yourself that, that this is the way I'm walking. This is the way it's going. And, and being confident about starting things that are new. I, th I feel like some of you are kind of stuck still in some old uh, idea that I don't think the universe or the angels want you to go. So I feel like there's a new beginning for you in August, a new direction. Uh, when it happens in August is uh, unimportant. The fact is, is that it's going to happen. Okay, so what's behind you now is the Queen of Waters. Um, Queen of Water, sorry. This is about uh, working on relationships. Um, perhaps uh, you let go of the old and, and, and the type of uh, relationships you used to attract in, and now it's like you've decided that, you know, I've done some work with myself. I know that this type of relationship doesn't work for me or this type of personality. And so you seek out uh, different relationships. And I do feel like these relationships will be on a higher level than you normally choose to uh, work, all right? And I also feel like some of you, okay, what I'm getting here is some of you uh, may have some health concerns. It could be high cholesterol, it could be high blood pressure, uh, it could be diet, uh, it could be weight gain, it could be too much weight loss, or, you know, I just feel like, uh, your health um, has taken a toll here and there for some of you on a lot of your worries and concerns, okay? Maybe there's some emotional eating going on. So I feel like you, you are going to step out of that old pattern and establish new behavior, new patterns, okay? So the queen of earth that's above you and is going to be coming around the corner is the... Um, you know, this is the thoughtful card, the creative card, the warm card, you know, be sensible card. I, this is telling me that, you know, maybe you've shut out some people along the way um, or, you know, maybe you're just going to be or have been so busy. Now's the month, August, I feel um, that you will be spending some more time with your loved ones. Uh, with family or friends, uh, going to some events, maybe parties, um, birth, I got birth, you know, there might be a child born in the family somewhere, you know, whether it's your children's uh, and you're becoming grandparents or uh, your own. But I do feel like um, there are a few challenges, I feel, that uh, may happen in August, but I, I do feel like if you give it a total understanding uh, and acceptance, it will just kind of mellow out and be, um, 
you know, more peaceful. I, I don't know what this is exactly. I, I feeling like it could be a little bit of a challenge with children. Um, I also feel like it could be a challenge um, to maybe to get your business off the ground or maybe there's been some uh, changes there uh, and it hasn't totally kicked off. But I do feel like things will be uh, good for you because you've got here the King of Earth which is uh, saying what's coming here is, is successful times, okay? Um, and also, too, I feel like you should be open to different offers um, or different opportunities. Maybe somebody wants to hire you. Maybe you're a mentor and somebody wants to hire you and you do workshops. Uh, or maybe uh, you've been looking for another job, but things haven't been coming through and all of a sudden you're getting offers, Um you know, this could be relationships too. Maybe somebody introduces you to someone. Uh, maybe at first it looks like, well, hey, you know what? This is not what I usually pick out in a crowd. But I, I feel like you may give it a try. Okay. Happy birthday, by the way, Leo. Um, so we've got here the Unity card, which has been coming up a lot, which makes sense with all the different aspects that are going on in August. Uh, we've got the seven of water. We've got the eight of air and the two of air. Uh, it looks like maybe an Aquarius, Libra, or um, Gemini might be important to you. Uh, but I do feel like that... <sighs> I feel when it comes to relationships and I haven't pulled the love cards or the romance cards yet, but I do feel like that there is something here. Um, well, you know what? It could have to do with, it could be work relationship. It could be a personal romantic relationship. Um, or it could just be a relationship with a boss, a re relationship with your employees, um, HR situation human resources situation. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm feeling like there's a, there is something here in August that is definitely going to require your attention. I feel like some of this is uh, a bit complex. I feel like you might have to do some more research on it. So this could be something that you're working on that you thought was, okay, a go, but all of a sudden it's not. It needs to be revised. Um, I also feel like it has to do with maybe how you're perceiving things and uh, maybe stop procrastinating. Uh, but I do feel like you feel like you're trapped in something and you can't get out of it. And I think a lot of it has to do with basically your confidence. It's your lack in confidence. And maybe you're fearing to take action because you're afraid of losing something, you know, like losing a job or losing money or losing the person you love or losing your home. Okay, the two of air here is, um, it, okay, what it's telling me is you're having difficulty making a decision. I guess this uh, decision that I'm looking at uh, is pretty complex, so I feel like you're unwilling um, or just can't come to a conclusion. It's okay. If you can't, you just can't. Okay, August doesn't end the end of the world. So there's always uh, September. You know, maybe you're not meant to make the decision final in August. All right, let's look at the um, love cards. These are good cards. I think feel like some of you have just gotten back from a trip. Okay, so what we're looking here is true love and with the nine of waters. So here maybe there is somebody important to you. Maybe the two of you had a quarrel or maybe you haven't seen eye to eye on things. But yet you are totally uh, in love with this person. Okay, I feel like a lot of it has to either do with trusting you or you trusting them. Okay, but trust has a lot to do with it. And I feel like something happened when you were on vacation together. Or if you weren't on vacation, you went over to see them or they came over to see you. But I feel like 
uh, for some reason, um, I'm getting a feeling like this is somebody who's at a long distance. But regardless, this could be someone who isn't. And I feel like you were together um, enjoying some space and, and some uh, maybe some sightseeing or dinner or whatever. But I feel like there is something uh, between the two of you. And I feel like this might have to do with an Aquarius. I don't know why that's coming in, but I just feel like it might have to do with an Aquarius. And I feel like there is a trust issue here, a very strong trust issue. I feel like because this person is different than you and has a different perception than you do, uh, or vice versa, maybe they're feeling the same way about you, it, it, it tends to close off the heart. It tends to close off the heart chakra and the mind. Um, everything kind of seems to close off here. I feel like almost as if they're afraid to get involved with you or you're afraid to get involved with them. All right. Now, things might be going smooth for uh, some of you who are in a relationship, but yet this might be something that you have to tackle coming up in August. And we do have a Mercury retrograde. So, um, you know, there may be some misunderstandings. Some of it may have already been happening in July and it just makes everything worse in August. Okay. Uh, it's putting more fire into the fire makes a bigger fire. Why don't you try a little bit of sand? <laughs> okay. Uh, too much water makes too much emotion. Uh, I think you need a little earth element in there. Try using sand. <laughs> Anyways, um, Okay. I do feel like there is going to be an opportunity, though, to have a meeting, a togetherness, maybe to talk about things, okay, to smooth out uh, some of, you know, the energies that have taken place that kind of left you both in, in a complex situation. Um, passion and compassion always does help the healing process. Uh, I do feel like for some of you, uh, you got your eye on someone and this relationship hasn't kicked off, but you wanted to, and you're not sure just kind of how to present yourself to show that you have some interest. So you're basically daydreaming about this person. I do feel like there is an opportunity to get to know this person better. Okay. You've been waiting for that moment. Okay, you can do it in August. I just want you to let you know that there's nothing wrong with starting relationships under a Mercury retrograde. However, things have to be clear. Don't leave everything up to the imagination because you might turn out disappointed. Okay, all right, so let's see what the universe has to say for you guys. We've got the Ace of Fire. And the Magician, oh, two great cards. Ace of Fire is, the universe is letting you know there are some opportunities coming your way that are especially from the stars and the planet. This could have something to do with your career, relationship, uh, moving, like where you live. Um, but there is change. And at first, because Leo, you are a fixed sign, you might be like, Oh, I don't like change. Okay. But universe is saying, but change needs to happen now. And if you just edge into the change, you're going to be okay. And the magician is saying, get ready. But the magician's also asking you, are you ready? Archangel Raziel is really good at helping you for, uh, move to not just clear energy with Archangel Michael, but also to move forward on um, your own abilities and to man manifest them. Okay, so with these two cards together, life is magical. Life is magical. You just have to move through life with your own energy. Your own energy is what needs to change. The hardest... The most difficult thing to deal with is adapting and shifting and accepting external forces. 
and their changes and the shift, okay? That's all the energy outside of you, okay? Well, anyways, I wish you a beautiful birthday, Leo, and a great month. And if you'd like a personal reading, www.transformationandempowerment.com. Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading isn't going to resonate with everyone. Uh, it was great to connect. Okay. I wish you much love and blessings.